channel, like, share, subscribe if you got the time to. If not, I don't give a fuck because this channel still isn't monetized yet, but it will be eventually. This episode is about uh, RX Heck, aka Drug Rich Heck. I first heard about Heck in what 2015, 2016. I think right right around the time that uh, uh, Pablo started to blow up. Uh, I remember I had tweeted Pablo and I was like, "Bro, did you write the Master Sensei uh, intro or did you freestyle that?" And he was like, "Nigga, I freestyled that shit." And I was like, "What the fuck?" So I started to listen to everybody around him. You know what I'm saying? All the whole NPR, the whole Drug Rich, all of that. I listened to everything from Peso to him to, uh, you know, everybody. And it's weird how music works because I started listening to Pablo because of Pee Wee. You know what I'm saying? I started listening to Pee Wee because of Thug. You know what I'm saying? So shit's kind of crazy how music works. But anyway, uh, this is about RX Heck. Bruh has the potential to be the best lyricist in the South. Hands down. If you ever heard I Ain't Never Had Shit and then you heard his recent work, like, look, man, his only downfall right now is the fact that he don't he hasn't released enough projects. He's one of the artists from the South that I want to see on Funkmaster Flex freestyle series. I really would like to see him and uh, Pablo on the freestyle series with DJ Funkmaster Flex. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, uh, fuck Flex. I just feel like it'll be a good platform for niggas to understand that the South is more than just auto-tune and you know crazy outfits and a whole bunch of jewelry, bro. Like, these niggas can really rap with no auto-tune. Like, he one of the ones, bro. I'm telling you. Like, I just want this video to reach somebody who knows him, bro. And just allow him to listen to this shit, bro. We just need two projects a year, bro. You can drop one at the beginning of the year and one at the end, bro. Like, for real, bro. Like, I would stream that shit 100,000 times, bro. Because, dude, Nerds is on YouTube and it has 30,000 plays. And it's not even the official version. It's just a, a, a screen recorded video of you in a van or whatever playing a song and showing your, your watch off, fam. Like, <laughs> like, dude, bro, like, niggas don't understand, man. Like, I just wish I was managing or I was around to be like, bro, like, no, you need to drop this shit, fam. Like, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? In time, I guess it'll happen. I don't know. But. Yeah, man, this dude has the potential to be one of the best lyricists in the South, man. I want y'all to get into that search bar, go up there and type in RX Heck, and just look up look up the music, bro. Tell me if I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. For real. I just need one or two projects a year, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, bro. That, that's it. We, we just need one or two projects a year, bro. Just so I can be validated in what I'm saying, because I know I'm telling the truth here. You know, even the recent work that he put out this year was, like, better than a lot of niggas' albums. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look it up. Look it up. 